In the world of speed, legends are born from obsession, and no story captures that spirit better than the BADD GT, a 2006 Ford GT that defied physics and became the world's fastest street legal car. At the center of it all stands one man, Johnny Boomer. Johnny was not a corporate-backed racer or an engineer from Detroit. He was a self-taught gearhead from Florida who grew up fascinated by machines and driven by a dream to build something that would shock the automotive world. When he bought his Ford GT brand new in 2006, it was not to collect it or show it off. It was to break the limits of what a streetcar could do. From the very beginning, he had a single goal, to make it the fastest streetcar on earth. He wanted a machine that could not only shatter records, but also be driven to the grocery store. A car with air conditioning, a stereo, license plates, and insurance, yet capable of speeds most people associate with fighter jets. In his workshop, Performance Power Racing, Bomer and his small team began turning the Ford GT into something extraordinary. They stripped it down, strengthened every part, and replaced almost every mechanical component. The 5.4-liter V8 engine stayed at its core, but everything else evolved. The supercharger was removed and replaced by massive twin precision turbos. Every internal part of the engine was rebuilt to survive over 2,000 horsepower. By 2018, the BADD GT was producing around 2,700 horsepower, a number that even the most advanced hypercars struggle to reach. Every detail mattered. The gearbox was replaced with a custom six-speed billet transmission that could handle the brutal torque. The suspension was tuned for stability and the aerodynamics were refined through relentless testing. Bomer's team worked with engineers from NASA to study airflow and even experimented with low drag coatings originally developed for aircraft. For testing, Bomer needed something most racers could only dream of, a place with enough room to unleash such power safely. Through a special agreement with NASA, his company gained access to the shuttle landing facility at the Kennedy Space Center. The massive, perfectly flat 3.22-mile runway had once brought space shuttles home from orbit. Now it would serve as the proving ground for the world's fastest streetcar. The first breakthrough came in 2010. During a standing mile run, the BADDGT became the first street legal car to break 250 miles per hour. It was a moment that stunned the automotive world. Johnny had done what most believed was impossible, and he did it in a car with a license plate and working air conditioning. That run marked the first taste of victory, but it was only the beginning. Two years later, he returned to the same runway for an official Guinness World Record attempt. The car thundered down the strip, hitting 282.232 miles per hour from a standing start in one mile. It was officially verified, making it the fastest street legal car in the world at that time. For Johnny and his team, that record was more than a number. It was proof of what private determination and persistence could achieve without the backing of a global automaker. After the 2012 record, the team continued improving the car. They upgraded the engine management to a FuelTech FT600 system, added advanced data logging, and refined everything from the clutch to the cooling system. Sponsors like Gas Monkey Garage joined the mission, bringing attention and additional resources. By 2018, the car was running on E85 fuel for cooler combustion, and Johnny hinted that it could make another 500 to 700 horsepower beyond what had already been unleashed. Years of testing followed. Each run on the runway was a high-speed experiment. There were triumphs and terrifying moments. On one attempt, a parachute failure forced Johnny to rely only on his brakes after reaching nearly 290 miles per hour. The rotors glowed red-hot and the car barely stopped before the end of the runway. But he never gave up. Each challenge taught the team something new about how to make the car faster, safer, and stronger. Then came December 9th, 2022. The team was not even chasing a record that day. They were testing the new engine management system. Johnny launched the BADDGT down the three-mile runway, accelerating faster than ever before. The twin turbos screamed, the V8 roared, and within seconds the car crossed 200 miles per hour, then 250, then 300. 
Finally, the GPS system locked in a number no one had ever seen on a streetcar. 310.8 miles per hour. The run was verified by multiple GPS systems, onboard cameras, and the race logic data logger. Even with parachutes deployed, Johnny needed nearly every inch of the 15,000-foot runway to bring the car to a stop. When he stepped out of the car, he was calm and composed, knowing he had just driven the fastest street-legal car in history. What makes the BADDGT's story even more remarkable is that the car remains street-legal. It still carries its Florida license plates, its factory interior, lights, turn signals, and working air conditioning. Johnny even takes his kids to school in it, one at a time. It runs on pump E85 fuel and can be driven on public roads like any ordinary car. That is what separates the BADDGT from every purpose-built hypercar that followed. Beneath its familiar Ford GT body hides a monster, a 5.4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 capable of more than 2,700 horsepower, a six-speed billet transmission, carbon ceramic brakes, and fully adjustable suspension. Every part of the car is designed for stability, control, and sheer acceleration. It can reach 200 miles per hour in about 10 seconds and yet idle quietly in traffic moments later. Johnny's journey is a story of obsession, innovation, and perseverance. He poured millions of dollars into developing the car, spending years perfecting every detail. From the first 250 mile per hour milestone to the 310.8 mile per hour record, each step was achieved not by a corporation but by one man who refused to accept limits. Today, the BADDGT still holds the crown as the world's fastest street legal car. And Johnny is not finished. His next goal is to reach 330 miles per hour, a number that would leave even the most advanced hypercars behind. He believes the car still has more to give, and with data showing unused boost potential, that claim might soon become reality. In an era dominated by computer-managed supercars and corporate engineering, Johnny Boomer's BADDGT stands as a symbol of old-school determination and mechanical genius. It proves that with enough willpower, precision, and courage, one man and one car can redefine what is possible. From a dream in a small Florida garage to a record-breaking 310.8 miles per hour on NASA's runway, the BADDGT is not just a car. It is a declaration of what happens when human ambition meets engineering excellence. The story of Johnny Bomer and his 2006 Ford GT is not just about speed. It is about defying every expectation of what a streetcar can be. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.